The bandit also burned down two patrol vehicles and drove away another one, which was used to convert food items stolen from the surrounding villages. It was learned that the bandits also attacked Katsiri village, shot four persons, abducted three others from the community. It's happening everywhere. Northern Zoological Republic is on rampage by their so-called bandits. They refuse to tag them terrorists. We don't want them to tag bandit terrorists again. Let them remain bandit and let them continue with their job. These are the things, these are the factors. Factors for the disintegration of the Zoological Republic is this. We must understand that. These are the factors that will make the zoo to be disintegrated. Because without the disintegration of the Zoological Republic, Africa will remain in darkness. Very, very important. We must understand that. So it will continue. They will be killing at will and they will not tag them terrorists. You may not hear much about Boko Haram. It swap again. They will be coming in the disguise of bandits. Moving inside the city, committing heinous crime, killing people at will, and uh, it will call criminal act. That's all. Two of the victims were said to have died instantly while the remaining two are receiving treatment at an undisclosed hospital. Sokoto, Niger, Kasina, Zamfara, and many other states, uh, other states in northwest and the north central Nigeria have been ravaged by bandits' attacks. The bandits kill and kidnap at will, despite the deployment of police officers and soldiers uh, to the affected area. This one is in Sokoto. This one from Sokoto. That is what is happening. Let's take this one also from Kaduna State. See the, see the news there now. Kaduna shut down mobile phone service. Ban commercial mm -hmm. motorcycle as bandit take over the state. Now, bandit is now inside the city of Kaduna State. <laughs> bandit is inside the city, city. Because for them to stop uh, this their um, tricycle or motorcycle to be moved, then they are already inside the city because that is what they used to patrol. You think that they are passenger, but not knowing that these are bandits. Then mobile network will be shut down. Tell me what will work in Kaduna State when telecommunication networks are down. The economy is zero. Because number one is that they don't even believe in their economy. They can't generate anything. There is no state in the north that generates much revenue. They are hoping on the south to work for them as they are willing to, as they have said, as they are willing to, they work and they give them allocation every month and the pocket. So shutting it down is not their problem. Shutting it down is not their problem. And if they will be shutting things down because of bandits, Nigeria has come to an end. Abuja will one day be ravaged. Watch what we are telling you. The Kaduna State Government says it has asked telecommunication firm to suspend their service in the state from September 30th towards checking the activities of bandits from today. Being 30th, if you're in Kaduna State now, the day is breaking, you may not receive any call. Even as we are broadcasting right now, those who used to follow us on Facebook, on uh, uh, YouTube, on uh, maybe on the, our radio, Biafra app, and whatever, may not be able to listen what we are saying because the telecommunication network service in Kaduna State must be shut down. This is an order that has been given by the government starting from today, 30th of September 2021. You see, what is the hope of Nigeria? What is the fate of Nigeria? The fate is gone. Nothing is happening. Nothing good will ever come out of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Those of you in the South, be prepared. Prepare yourself. Prepare. The first preparation is the preparation of mind. If you are equipped with all manner of military arsenals, but your mind is not well equipped, it is zero. That is why we stand, always stand on ideological consistency in what we are saying. You need to prepare, be ready. Obi Akagi, you ready to face them before demanding for whatever. They may give you every kind of um, ammunition and whatever, but if you are afraid of yourself, if you are afraid of what you are doing, you cannot excel. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You cannot go far. You cannot do anything. If you are not prepared psychologically, 
prepare your mind. Even if they carry American war jet and keep it in your house, you can't operate it when the time comes. So we must prepare now. These are signals Elohim is giving to us because it will come to the north, to the south. Remember the revelation of the letter to Bedea Melafia. May his soul continue to rest in peace. He told them, he said, by the time they ravage everywhere, even the rainforest, they will still go there and they will cause civil war. Uh, 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 um, Garba Shehu knows all these things. The Garba Shehu, like Muhammad, they know all these things. They have it at, at, at hand. Uh, Abu Bakr Malami, they know all these things. They have it. Malam Nasru Erufai, they know all this. And that's why they went and killed that man. Because the man revealed a very deep secret to the world. So people in the south need to get ready. Be well prepared for the main event that is coming. Be prepared. Let's continue. The state commissioner for internal security and the home affair, Samuel Arua, disclosed this in a statement on Wednesday. Arua said the use of motorcycle, the use of motorcycles for transport service and um, the sale of petrol in Jerican have also been suspended across the state. Across the state. <laughs> you remember last week when we are talking about bandit moving, not bandit, um, Boko Haram moving from uh, 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 Bruno State to Kaduna Forest. And this Kaduna, if you have been passing through Kaduna, if you have been traveling from Meduguri to Bochi to Joss, and uh, Joss, you, you, you have to pass some part of Kaduna, the place they call Forest, and from there, Guntu, before you enter um, uh, Lafia. Uh, from Lafia, then you move towards uh, Trukbo, Trukban, or whatever the road. If you have passed through this Kaduna, Kaduna have a very thick forest. A very thick forest, as if it's a the, the forest is so thick, like um, uh, 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 um, uh, the rainforest in the south. So this is the reason why the Bokos, the Buhari Boko, Boko Haram, decided to shift their uh, this thing towards Kaduna, and because of that, now see what is happening. It will be very heavy within that area because they have a base where they can hide. The forest in Kaduna is more thicker than that of Zambiza. I'm telling you, very thick forest if you have passed through those areas. If you have passed through those areas. When we used to go and buy, uh, uh, when we used to go to, there is a place called Godogodo, Godogodo somewhere in, uh, in, uh, in southern Kaduna to buy some vegetables and all those things. You know, We deal with all manner of, we know all these areas. The bush is very thick. So as you have seen them now, they have moved towards that area. Brother, begin to expect some certain attack. Both on the road, those from Medugri, you may pass Bauchi, and but in Jos, you may not be free because uh, Hawan Kibo side and wherever that area had been dangerous. Now it may be so dangerous that uh, uh, you may not cross again. I'm telling you, then move. In fact, I pity what will happen to Zoological Republic. I pity, I pity now that the telecommunication network is going to shut down today in Kaduna State. How can you communicate with your people? Even if there is danger now in your house, how can you report? How can you report? You see how the, how the bandits are taking advantage, taking, destroying the strength of your so-called country. You cannot go to school if you don't have future. A child that is not going to school has no future in this world because you need to be educated. You must go to school to study something. If not, you have no future. You become, you become a slave. No future, then as a result of the same uh, bandit attack, you cannot communicate with people. You cannot call your customer or your customer to call you that I'm coming to come. And because of this, bank cannot work. Bank cannot work. You cannot transfer money. You cannot receive money. You cannot withdraw. You cannot deposit because there is no network. There is no network. You see the level, the way the bandit is destroying the strength of your so-called zoological republic. Who, who brought them? Who opened way for them? The same Buhari, the same Garba Shehu, the same El Rufai, the same Malami, the same Sultan of Sokoto, all of them, the same Masari, the same Kwankwaso, all these northern criminals. They are the one who opened the way. They are the one now who is insisting for their president to stay in the north. 
they are the one who do who did all these things. But the when problem comes now, they will try to shift it to become a national issue. National issue. The latest development in Kaduna followed that uh, Zam that of Zamfara. We are all part of the state are affected. Castina State, we are 13 local government area are affected, and Sokoto State where 14 local governments are affected. These are the local governments that have been shut down with telecommunication. But it's like that of Kast Kaduna will be inside the city. These areas, the Zamfara and other places are some certain local government. But that of Kaduna will be inside the city because Kaduna is in the center, somehow in the center. And they have surrounded. They are already in the city. And El, El Rufai knows what he's doing. The government of the three northwest states announced the suspension of the telecommunication network and ban weekly markets and sales of petrol in Jerry Can, among other drastic measures to check the activities of bandits. It's already in the city. When you are listening to this news, you will understand that it's already in the city. The tribulation. Let me use uh, 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 Christian word. The tribulation. <laughs> is already inside the city. The plague is there already. The bandits are with them. They don't know who, who is who. Mm -hmm. He said other security measures earlier announced by the state government remain in place and urge the residents to comply with the directive. The state government has earlier said it has no plan to shut down telecom telecom network despite the spike of crime the state read i i am here to inform you of and to formally announce the implementation of certain measure to assist the security agency to to in parts of the state you will recall that governor nasru arufa announced in a media chat yesterday that was a two days ago 28 that the state government has formally requested the federal government to enforce the shutdown of telecom service in part of the state uh, state identified by the security agency as required such measure the relevant federal the relevant federal agency have today informed kaduna state government that the process for telecom shutdown in part of the state have commenced as part of the steps to address current security situation in Kaduna State and the neighboring state in the northwest and the north central region. <laughs> this country is dead and gone. This is Radio Biafra Hausa Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Du Mazi Namdekano Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. Mazin Namdikan is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He is the director of Radio Biafra and her television. And he is the commander of the armies of Biafra and the greatest man living on this planet Earth. Very, very important. You must know that. Things are happening in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria can never survive it. Fulani has destroyed Nigeria. You must know that. You don't like to hear all these things, but we stand on the truth. Fulani have destroyed Nigeria and their intention is to make sure that the agenda of the Ottoman Damfodio from 1804 comes to pass by doing wars, Fulanize and Islamizing everybody in the country from the north to the south to the Atlantic Ocean where they will dip their book there as they said. This is what is going on now. Wake up. Don't be foolish. Don't be stupid. Stop believing it will end. Nothing. They have succeeded up to 50%. Don't think that they will allow it to die. Because there is a kind of change or shift in the government that can slow the movement. Don't think it will happen. Don't you see how they are coming out telling you about holding the power in the north? So that it will, they will achieve their aim. If you change hand now, give a wrong person, a different person, that uh, uh, government. What will happen? The person may slow the movement. The person will make sure you equip the security uh, 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 men to fight the insurgency and reduce them. Then it's not going to work. That is why they killed Ibrahim Atahiru. Have you forgotten the former uh, chief of army staff? They killed him because Atahiru has been revealed in, in some of their secret security meetings, resisted some certain atrocities they want him to be committing. 
Kahiru said, no, this is not good, this, that, why this, that? They said, ah, it's like we have brought in a, 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 a bad egg in our midst. Somebody who don't believe, they assassinate him. They killed him on a plane crash. Very, very important. This is wicked, and this is what they are doing. If you talk, they will kill you. If you don't talk, they will still kill you. So it's better you talk and see if you can save people. We are telling you the gospel truth. Nothing is working. Listen, NYSC now has drafted a form or included it in their book or list or whatever that if you are going, you're on your own. No. Listen, Papa, Mama, if your daughter, your son, whom you have spent money, four years, eight years, seven years, six years in the university to train, and they are sending him or her, to the useless NYSC something. They said that that person is on his own. Do you know what? They met, now, uh, House of Rep is debating it. They are investigating the matter. They said that when that child is going out, as the child is going for wherever they post, you must prepare a ransom. Maybe one million, two million, three million naira you keep. After you have spent millions, thousands to train that child, and now he's going for useless NYAC that makes no impact. It makes no impact in the zoological republic. Then if by sudden your child is being kidnapped so that you will rush and pay the, the you will rush and do what you pay the ransom and release your child. No security. Just use yourself, use your brain to, to analyze this particular news now because I don't know where to start to explain it to you for more understanding. No security, no move, no future in Nigeria. Nothing good is happening. Nothing good is coming. You will never see anything good in Nigeria. How can you be sending somebody somewhere and the guarantee, the security of the person is not guaranteed? Is a question. Is a question I'm asking you, my dear brother, my dear sister. This is the question everybody's supposed to ask. Sorry for that. There was uh, something uh, uh, just uh, rectify now. So back to what we are saying. How can you send your child? How can you send your child or somebody? You say that they are going for unity of the country. Remember that this NYSC was established in 1973 by the useless go on. By the useless go on. Because of the, remember the three R. The three R, reconstruction, rehabilitation, and the reward. The, the useless three R that go on use to scam people. That was when this NYSC was established in 1973. And they used it to be marrying Igbo girls. You know, they were marrying Igbo girls then. When they sent them in the north, they were pregnant them. But their own, their own girls in the north, because of their faith, you, you don't dare to touch them. If you touch them, they will kill you. They tell you that they are uniting the country. That was when this NYSC was established. It was established up to today. We did not see anything good. Now, if you want to go for NYSC, you need to prepare some ransom. Mama, Papa, Uncle, guidance, listening. If your daughter, your son, a what like a 5 million, 3 million, 10 million, you check the person because the bandit have to weigh them. Tell them that you pay 10 million, you pay 5 million, you pay 3 million. If you watch your daughter or your son that you have trained in the university for some number of years and the thousands and millions and the stress you have passed through and you still want to foolishly send him or her to this useless NYSC, then you need to prepare. You weigh the person, you say, okay, in case a bandit catch you, you will watch 10 million or 7 million. Then you have to go and keep the money, keep the money cash before you send that child. This is what NYSC is telling us. I want you to understand it. And what is it telling you? There is no hope in Nigeria. Nothing will come. Nigeria cannot secure you even if they are sending you on a message. Nigeria cannot protect you. You are not secured in the zoo. Very, very important. Then what are you? Why are you wasting your time being an zoologian? Why are you wasting your time being a Nigerian? Why? When they will send you for NYSC and they cannot protect you, they cannot protect you. Why? 
you must know that. You must have this understanding. You must know that there is no need wasting time there. The earlier, the better. The earlier, the better for you and I. Very, very important. Have that in mind. Very, very important. Very, very important. That is for NYSC. They said that um, they advised the NYSC uh, service uh, advised the coppers to prepare for ransom while traveling some certain place in the zoo. So for me, I move the motion that they should scrap this NYSC of a thing. A lot of people have been dying there. This is what you're supposed to be. There's no. The thing is making no impact. People are just, innocent. People are just dying unnecessarily. People are losing their children after training them for many years. This is the brain of Go On, just to make sure that most of the Igbo girls have been impreg impregnated in the Northern Zoological Republic, and they succeeded in that time, marrying our girls, converting them to Islam at will, as at that time by force. Because when somebody finished school in Imo State or Anambra Enugu, you send him to Sokoto Medugri, wherever in some certain rural area. One Awudu will come and influence the lady. She has no option because she has no defense, and what will happen, she will succumb. This is how they took many of our beautiful girls. Uh, to today it doesn't make an impact. Tell me how many northern women that were married in the southeast. Tell me. It doesn't have to tell you it's for unity. It's to destroy you. The thing is to make sure that the men you bring you down to the lowest level. We must understand to destroy us. Let them scrap it off. Although it's one of the factors that uh, 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 militating, working towards the disintegration of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria presently now. You see another video clip. There's one old video clip. I want to uh, digress on that video clip. Most of us might have watched it. We are full of women. We are buying petrol. They buy fuel. They put it on a, on a nylon. Now use their, their uh, 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 wrapper to wrap the fuel. Put it inside a bag, traveling bag, from the city. Now moving inside the bush. To go and supply to their dear husband the bandit, the Iswab, the Bokos. But you see how these people are working hand in hand. Listen, I am not against what they are doing, no, because I believe in my own ideology and I like you to believe in your own. But don't bring it to myself. I want to use it to speak to our people. If you have not watched that clip, go and look for it. Fulani women were arrested in the Northern Zoological Republic of Nigeria about two or three days ago. In their traveling bag, we have petrol, fuel, what you call a PMS, premium uh, motor spirit, petrol, fuel. In America, they call it gas. They pour it into nylon, tie it very well, tie it very well. Now use their wrapper to wrap it and now put it inside their traveling bag and put other clothes and other items they now carry it behind them on their head and they are moving passing some security uh, a checkpoint you know in the north you don't need to touch a woman say you are searching they are being respected you know as a result of religious belief and all those then they now use it to pass some certain security checks but this one you uh, reaching at a certain place god want to expose to tell you what is happening but what I am trying to say about that is how they are helping their own in their ideology. They believe it. They believe in Boko Haram. They believe in Iswap. They believe in Islamization. So it's good for them. Personally, I don't kick it off. But you and I, my dear brother, go on on our knee, you that is in Biafra land, how do you support your own people? Rather, you become a saboteur. Is either you become a saboteur. You go and tell people that your own people are so, so, so placed. Then they will come and kill him. But look at Fulani. Look at how their wives and their daughters are being used to send patrol to them in the forest. For them to survive, to be strong and food and whatever to revive themselves and continue their agenda, their ideology, what they believed in. You will come out tomorrow, you say you are Biafra, you want Biafra to come. But the same you they will use to destroy what we are doing. Is it not the right time you have sense? Is it not the right time you understand? Because when it comes to ourselves, that is the time we remember that we talk truth. When you see our people against our people, that is the time you see an evil man 
uh, Biafran will come out and speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. When it's time to play politics, we are speaking truth. When it's time to do play, we are speaking the truth. The truth that are destroying us. See, we are full of new women. Putting petrol, say, I don't care, I, I'm not here for all this uh, kangaroo justice. I am using it to send message to our people. You see how they are doing it, trying to su sustain their own. But you, you will be the one that will go and sabotage our own. You will be the one that will go and sabotage our own. Just because you were able to have an Android phone. And they uh, have one or two, 1,000 naira, 500 naira data. And you now put it and you are non gunmen is in ESN the killing this that you don't your brain is not working you cannot report something accurately in favor of your people all these things our leader have been teaching us in the media even how the Eurobas use the media to pro project their own to to promote their own people to uh, um, uh, um, exalt their own people you still now our people have not learned that. We are so stupid and foolish to the extent that our brain is not working. Look at how Fulani Hesman killed the husband of um, uh, 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 Dr. Dora, the late Dr. Dora Akuyeri. Somebody has already tried to tag it to, to Ross, that it is, and you are promoting it. You are there promoting it. They want to destroy you. You don't have brain. Our brain is not working. Most of us are foolish. The same truth you are speaking now, when they send you to church to become a born again, to become a truthful person and be speaking the truth, you can't to tell you that it is foolishness that is pushing you. You will be able to put a data in one China smartphone and you will be filming everything. Unknown gunmen is there. There's a, there's that, that. But when Nigerian soldiers will come to commit their heinous crime, you will be running away. One thing with us is like we always like to fight what we want to help us. Because you know that when you are filming Nigerian government, they can release bullets on you and you die and nothing will happen. But when you see the angels doing their job that they were sent, wherever they come from, I don't know, then you will come out and you will be recording. Helen, hey, hey. Because you know that they are good people. They are good angels. You see our foolishness. The one that will help us, you can't. But the one that will destroy us, that is where you jump out. Use that video. If you have not watched it, go and search it. It's still circulating online. It's still circulating. I got it two or three days ago. But I could not download it due to the phone with the, the messages we are so much. That is what I want to use to talk to Ross this time. For you to know what are you reporting, what are you tweeting? Are you destroying yourself by yourself? Ask yourself a question. Can Hausa Fulani newspaper publish something good for us? Since even till today, despite our alliance with the Oduduwa Nation, how many times have you seen the Yoruba newspaper saying good about us? But to you, the little smartphone you have, you are using it to cause more harm on us, which will affect you also. It's time you make you you have common sense, brother. The time for common sense have is now, because we are in awakening time. You're supposed to know. You're supposed to know what to say when to say it and where to say it. With all these teachings and revelations Ahmadike has given to us, uh, you, 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 are, you, are still, you are still a mumu, then you can never be human being again. Because they say a fool at 40. It doesn't mean that you will be uh, at 40 years. It means that there is a level of training that will be given to you. There is a level of exposure or civilization that will be given to you. If you, if you didn't change at that level, you cannot change again. That is what it means. And some of us are like that. How can you use your useless smartphone and you are reporting something against us, against your own people? You, you don't know what to speak in that phone to help you. Look at Fulani women. Look at Fulani women. Fulani women buying petrol in the city. They know that it's illegal. They know that government is against it. But they believe in their own people. They believe in their own ideology. They insisted. They took the risk. And you must know, not only this is the one they, are, they saw. Many things, they could be supplying them bullets, guns, whatever, foods, uh, medical items, and whatever. Hospital equipment, so that they would treat themselves inside the bush. You see how they put it, cover it, doing it diligently. 
continuously to their, their husband, the bandit, the Iswap, the Bokos, the herdsmen in the forest. But you, just ordinary smart China smartphone you got, what you are tweeting and writing and recording is something that will destroy you. Apotechil is in a quizioku, in a quizioku na Nigerian politics. In a quizioku na Nigerian politics. You see how foolish we are? We don't know the time to play politics and the time to play church. We don't know it because it's against you. You, you are very good in destroying yourself. We are very good in fighting ourselves, killing ourselves. That is where we excel. That is where we excel. When it comes for evil man to destroy evil man, ha, you see, on our bar, on our bar, on our bar, man, not that evil man and that was a man, evil man and Yoruba man, or make all peace. The best wisdom will come out, you settle it. But when it comes within, brother and brother, enmity, why? Why? Because you allow Flanny cause to continue to in you. They put this cause, they purposely put this thing. You allow it to be. You allow it to be. You hardly cheat an Awasa man in your business. You hardly cheat a Yoruba man in your business. But the moment is an evil man, you will cheat him beyond. You even kill him and take everything. Because Awasa Fulani lay a curse on you and continue to renew that curse every October 1st. They continue to renew it after October 1st. They will kill Ram now under the sun. Say whatever enchantment they will say. They will kill their ram, kill their cow. When they ask you to debunk those things in the spirit realm, you won't. But it's what is disturbing you. Tomorrow you go and chop suya. The suya, the nama that they have uh, desecrated. They consecrate some of them to their to whatever they believe. As you are eating it, that cause is there. If not, tell me how you can take a smartphone and you are recording something that is happening and you are speaking against yourself. You are re reporting against yourself. Just as I'm here now in this radio, I begin to report against my own people. For Fulani, for Fulani, that is looking for me to destroy me. Then I'm reporting, Abba, brother, it's time to do it's time for you to have your thinking faculty to begin to work. Because this is an awakening time. Even a child in the womb comes out with wisdom. How much more an adult like you? Very, very important. You must not listen to the old fools. Old politicians we have as our leaders, you don't follow them. Follow the IPOB leadership. Follow the teachings. You don't go and follow politicians. Tomorrow, when they invite you on a occasion, you go and wear them chicken because you saw them for mine wearing them chicken. You saw your um, uh, uh, governor of Enugu State wearing them chicken. They don't wear Ishiaga anymore. You can never see them wear Ishiaga. That is why you go and wear. You follow them. No. You see on Hanes and Debo, they don't wear the real attire of Igbo, Igbo man. They wear all manner of nonsense. These are stakeholders. And the children are watching them. Then you watch them. Instead of you to watch the elders, the real elders of IPOB, the indigenous people, the people who are connected to the soil, the people whom the spirit of the land is still working with them, you will not follow them. You are following all these politicians because they are giving you 5,000, 5, 10,000. It's, very, it's, quite a, it's quite appalling, honestly. This is the time we need to repent and change. Politicians have derailed us, and that is why they must pay. There must be payback for politicians. There must be payback for politicians. So you don't need to look at them. Is it not their mind that are killing our people in a born state? Why will you look at what he's doing? Why will you follow his full step? That is the question I'm asking you. Why will you follow his footstep? Why will you listen to him, to what he's saying? They have derailed. Look at, look at one idiot called himself Joey Bokwe. Joey Bokwe now is telling the government, advising. You see our, you see our people, these are the things I'm saying. Joey Bokwe, Joey Bokwe is the idiot, the slave in Lagos. The gota cleaner, they gave him advice on cleaning gota. And because of that, his head is popping up like popcorn. His head is popping up like popcorn. Joe Ibukwe now is advising the federal government to declare state of emergency in our land. Not that you are scared, though, but I'm telling you, the, the, I'm trying to use it to explain to you the wickedness, the level of the stupidity of the Ibu people. That is why I am 
clamoring for the I don't hide it. You see politicians, I want to, this is the only post, post I'm praying for. For me to be the commander of execution of Igbo politician, I want to be the commander. These people are not human beings. Look at the whole killings that have been going on in the Northern Zoological Republic all this while. The bombing, the killing, the kidnapping, the raping, the Boko Haram, the ISWAP, everything. Nothing like state of emergency in any of the states. But an idiot, a full and puppet, called himself Joey Bukwe in Lagos. That is why this man don't need to step his foot in, in, in Iboland. Any day he step his foot in Iboland, he need to be cut off. He is now, for, just for him to be a good man, oh, remember that he reacted because of the, uh, uh, the, the uh, FFK, the awakening of FFK into uh, um, APC. Uh, they didn't call him for tea and handshaking. He has reacted. Nothing happened. Now he has come back. The normal way of people, people to sell his people then before he will be promoted. Because they will ha ask him, what, what do you have in table? What have you done? Then he's bringing the idea to deploy state of emergency in Igbo land uh, so that uh, he will be um, appointed. Maybe one of the chairman of the committee for uh, conflict re resolution and whatever and pump some million in that. Then he will pocket it. That is all he wants. Then at the end of the day, his people will be killed. But brothers, look at the killings and the destruction in the northern, in the northern zoological republic for a, for a very long time. Not even one person from the north has the, the suggested for such. But look at nothing is happening. Nothing has. I don't think there's nothing happening in our land. Nothing much. What is the damn rob that's not been there? Have people not been robbing people all this while kidnapping? But Joe Ibokwe, Joe Ibokwe, Joe Ibokwe, an idiot that need to die very soon, is the one now bringing the suggestion. By the time he say it now, you will hear another Ifulefus that will support him. Then there will be the one that they will use to form the conflict resolution committee. Then give them some certain amount of money and they will pocket. By that time, you and I will be killed in our land. Instead of thinking, what is the cause of this problem? Why is it that our youth are not being employed? What are we going to do? Joe Bokwe is from Anambra State. Joe Bokwe, tell me a publication you have made as a result of the repetitive uh, 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 road in Anambra State. Joe Bokwe, can you tell us one of the road? That is good from the place you land in airport to your village in Nnewi. Tell me one road that is good. And tell me the ones that are not good, how you have advocated and asked question. Why is it that this road are not constructed, but the money has been budgeted? Joy Boko, you are from Anambra State. How many times has the market in Anambra State caught fire? There was no fire service to quench it. How many times have you asked the federal government and the state government to give the account? Why is it that the money budgeted for those things to be in order? Joy Boko, you have never said anything like this. Nothing like that. Joy Boko, you have never advocated for industry in your state, Anambra, so that the people, the young youth that has no job, will have something to lay their hands upon. Jibokwe, you have never said anything like that. Jibokwe, in fact, look at the cargo airport, the Kangaroon cargo airport constructed by your governor, Obiano. Joy Bokwe, they commissioned this Kangaroon airport despite two point something billion dollars they claim they used to build it. Federal government did not allow your people. Jibokwe, listen, because you are an idiot. You are destined to die. Jibokwe, the federal government did not give the license for it to be international. Anambara State, everybody knows it, is a center of commerce. It's a center of commerce where people come and buy. Why can't, Jibokwe, listen, why can't Anambara State have one international uh, 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 route? Why can't, look at, uh, look at Onecha Seaport. Jibokwe, how many times have you advocated for your people? Stand for your people. Stand for your people. You always go against. Brothers and sisters, these people are the criminals we are talking about. This man is nobody, but he must pay. No need to hide things. We need to rise up against these criminals. This is the time. We need to rise up. He is now suggesting for them. I want to remind us some certain things. Listen, during the war, during the war, most of the role Igbo people play cause so harm to the war, to us more than the role uh, uh, the Fulanese played. 
we must have, understand this. Whenever you see an Igbo man suggesting how to destroy their own people, if they implement it, the casualty, the pain is always high. I am leaking a secret to Ross. Listen, when a bag and a, um, uh, 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 when a bagana, uh, uh, this thing, they, they put a bag, uh, they, those bombs in a bagana. You remember during the Civil War, and it destroyed the zoological um, um, uh, military that we are coming during the Civil War. Uh, uh, what's his name? Mutala Muhammad. History put it that Mutala Muhammad ran back to the north and tell Gowan to, 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 let's leave this thing. These people are too much. A bagana ambush. They, 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 they destroyed them. It is an Igbo man who suggested, who gave them the energy, say no, continue, move on. If not, Mutala Muhammad, who later overthrew, uh, uh, took over from uh, um, Gowan, has already went back to give the report for them to surrender. An Igbo man encouraged them. An Igbo man was there to encourage them, move on. I know why I'm saying all this is a lot of them. Remember Ikenwa Chuku? He fought against his people. The energy he put there. Many places. Go and research what I'm telling you. Whenever the attack is coming from the Fulanese and being suggested by an Igbo man, it's always very painful. Very, very painful to our people. Brother, you may like to talk or you may not talk. We are not listening. We are ready to fight this thing to the end. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Somebody like this idiot called Joe, Joe Ibokui, his cup is filled. Joe Boko needs to be visited. Dealt with him mercilessly. He's the one giving, this, giving the idea to declare state of emergency where he's in Lagos. This man needs to deal with. We must know that. Very, very important. Because the voice of it is okay, the voice of okay no no law is very high than the voice of okay no outside. The voice of our leader listening, we are keeping silent in all these things, waiting for Lego, whatever, whatever. Our leader, we are extraordinarily renditioned to the uh, uh, zoological republic because the hands of Igbo people, Igbo people, we are involved. If it is just for Fulani alone, it will not work, no matter the level. But it was successfully carried out because some group of Igbo people supported it against their own. Tomorrow, now. Some idiot nonsense. But you will not see the damage and the brain they are putting in. They will not bring that brain to develop Igbo land, to make something to happen. They will bring the brain to destroy us. Our this our leader Mazin Namdikan was extraordinarily renditioned with the end with the support, the energy, the strength, the input of some Igbo people. Of some Igbo people. And tomorrow you want me to come and give them, uh, uh, so, uh, 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 respect them. Look at the idiot who, who, he achieved nothing politically. APC he has been fighting for, has forgotten him. They don't care about him. Now he wants to pay all manner of bill, all manner of sacrifice for him to be recognized. Because FFK has been recognized. FFK has been recognized and he himself has no. He is looking for all means to have a handshake or drink a coffee with the dead Buhari. That is your so-called Joey Bokwe. And tomorrow now, maybe when certain jails will visit him, some idiot guy for thing, I call rubbish. One thing is that uh, if you are in this struggle and you have not made yourself a Zanoka, if you have not made yourself a Zanoka, you cannot be moving the struggle. I tell you, if you have not been an Azanoka, because the enemy has already been a Zanoka before us. That is why they are killing and moving and killing and killing. They don't care. If you have not been an Azanoka, you don't even need to listen even to the cry of baby or whatever. Then you have not yet ready for the struggle. I must tell you that. This is Radio Biafra House Service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onyendu, Mazen Namdekan, Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. Mazen Namdekan is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He's the director of Radio Biafra and her television. He's the commander of the armies of Biafra. And he is the greatest man living on this planet. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, <laughs> and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Mwachineke. 